On Friday night in Worcester, Massachusetts, Moose and MMA featured the former World's Strongest Man, Marius Pudzanowski, battling former UFC heavyweight champion Tim the Maniac Sylvia and a super heavyweight special attraction. Sylvia stalked the Polish powerhouse who exhibited solid leg kicks to keep himself out of danger. Pudzanowski managed a single leg takedown to put Sylvia on the canvas momentarily, but the seasoned veteran got back to his feet. In the second frame, an exhausted Pudzanowski simply could not deal with the size, strength or striking abilities of the 34-year-old Sylvia, falling to the mat after a barrage of strikes. Once on the ground, Sylvia passed the non-existent guard of the Polish fighter and continued to punish with strikes until Pudzanowski could not take any more and was forced to tap out. Travis Dieselview, who was originally set to take on Korean fighter Mu Bae Choi, made short work of late replacement Josh Barnes. In only 34 seconds, the Minnesota native showcased his power, knocking out Barnes in spectacular fashion, improving to 7-1 in his past eight fights. In a middleweight matchup, the always disappointing Travis Luter disappointed fans once again as he was stopped by Gracie Fusion fighter Rafael Natal. Natal defended a multitude of takedowns before a right straight ended the Texans night. American top team member Eve Edwards continues to fall further down the lightweight ladder after dropping a unanimous decision loss to WEC veteran Mike Campbell. After a back and forth affair in which both men exhibited world class skills, the belt went to the scorecards and Campbell garnered the decision on scores of 29-28 across the board. In the fight of the night, two of the world's top female fighters met in a rematch as Strikeforce veteran Roxanne Mataferi grid off against New Jersey native Tara La Rosa. La Rosa did seem to be the more powerful of the fighters, especially especially when the two worked in close, forcing Modafferi to fight with her back against the cage. Modafferi responded with a Superman punch that dropped La Rosa with 30 seconds remaining. She survived the round. Third round saw a ton of action with La Rosa landing a huge right hand, sending Modafferi tumbling to the canvas. La Rosa followed her to the mat, but got caught in a triangle choke by the submission whiz. Surviving the potential submission, La Rosa controlled the top position, and Modafferi got back to her feet. In the end, it would be Roxanne Modafferi winning the split decision, avenging a loss.